WHAS 11, Good Morning Kentuckiana starts now with Weather First. All right, good morning to you, Kentuckiana. It is 6 a.m. and we do want to bring you one of our big stories today. It's going to be an NTI day for JCPS because of the snowy road conditions. If you didn't hear me say it, you can hear Bellavia. You know what that <laughs> means. So here's the thing with this short term NTI lessons are self paced. They don't have live online instruction. That's what JCPS did earlier this week. After school extracurriculars are also canceled. As a reminder, the district has 10 NTI days total to use. This is day three. Keep an eye on the bottom of your screen. We are continuing to scroll the closures as we get them. You can see from our sky camera that the snow is coming down as precisely forecast by our team of meteorologists. Uh, again, this is our, one of our Metro cameras. You can see this was what we noticed in the last time that we saw that shot is the wind out there is starting to pick up as well. Good morning to you, Kentucky Anna. I'm Eric Kane and I'm Grace McKenna. And of course, we know our big story today is the snow the four is four letter the word that we all love. Mm -hmm, everybody really does. And so we have put our whole team to work here, mm -hmm. really uh, getting out on the roads and uh, out to the Metro Public Workstations mm -hmm. to Keep everybody safe and let you know what they're seeing. Meteorologist Sam Gabrielli again in the Beast, Jim Stratman with Metro Public Works, and uh, Chief Meteorologist Ben Pine as well. Yeah, so Ben, we'll start with you. You're the head of this ship here. Uh, what's <laughs> going on out there, and how can we, you know, adequately or, or intelligently plan our days? Uh, I mean, if you're like me, you're going to be slipping and sliding on those roads this morning. Got to uh, really allow that extra time, especially if, if you don't live by treated roads. If you have to take some of the outer roads, the rural streets, neighborhood roads to get to the treated and main routes, uh, you really got to be very careful out there. Really had to go about half the speed this morning. You can see the roads covered up snow coming down. This is a parking lot near the base of the Clark Memorial Bridge in uh, Clarksville and uh, on the Jeffersonville side of the river this morning. And so um, just got to take it uh, very careful. It's going to be slick out there. So snow is our first story. Then the winds are going to pick up and uh, wind chills will fall down to the single digits later on today. So this is the front edge of the polar front. This is our last batch of steady snowfall, putting down maybe an additional half of an inch of snow as it moves on through. This will get us to the one to three inch snowfall totals that we've been giving you over the last several days. As we zoom in there, you can see uh, just plain steady snow right over the top of Metro Louisville, Southern Indiana, and now moving through our Kentucky communities as well. Winter weather advisory continues until 7 p.m. Just advising you to be very careful if you have to hit some of the slick roads out there. Wind chill advisory kicks in 10 p.m. until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. That means wind chills will be around 5 to 10 below. So dangerously cold weather setting up for later today and into tomorrow. So here is that last area of steady snow moving through over the next couple of hours. It'll wind down to some flurries mid to late morning, and then the cold weather takes over as we fall down to the upper teens, lower 20s, wind chills. 5 to 10 and then again sub zero wind chills later on tonight. Uh, the winds are around 10 to 15, maybe picking up a little bit more from the top of the water tower there in uh, southern Indiana and Scottsburg. Uh, so here's our current temperatures in the lower to mid 20s. Uh, the wind chills not too bad just yet, feeling like 17 in Jasper, 18 in Elizabethtown. Here's your wind chill later today around 5 to 10 and then falling all, all the way down to around 5 to 10 below overnight tonight. So even though the, the, the brine and the salt is working now, now, later on tonight, there could be some refreezing as that frigid air moves in. Let's get a check of the road conditions out there. Of course, uh, Sam Gabrielli, he, he's from Minnesota. He's the best one to go out there and navigate those snow covered roads this morning. How's it looking, Sam? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, we're looking pretty quiet or not quiet. Actually, my bad. We're looking snow full of snow here this morning. Uh, we're actually just towards the Memphis exit on I-65. Uh, we actually did e exit onto the Memphis exit, got off the interstate on I-65, and I just talked to our photojournalist Nelson Reyes. I said there's an easily about two inches of snow on the ground here. Big wet flakes coming down. Here's actually a look southbound on Interstate 65. So we're leaving the city of Memphis, going south right now uh, towards the Sellersburg exit pretty soon and getting pretty close to I-265. We plan to take that to the west and take that over towards 64 and towards the knobs early this morning. So again, the interstate wise, plows are doing a great job out here on the actual interstate. I just want to mention though, they're still staying snow covered to say the least, especially the left lane and the right lanes here, as you can tell. So please make sure you do take your time with your travel this morning. Cut your normal drive speed in half. Here's a look at mobile traffic tracker. Luckily in Louisville, there's no crashes underway. And I just want to reiterate as well, even in Indiana side of things, no crashes underway that we have 
seen at least. But uh, the roadways right now in Metro Louisville are basically looking on the interstates at least, more just uh, wet right now at this time. Just kind of reiterate though, some bridges may be a bit slick and slippery as bridges do freeze up quicker than uh, regular highways do. So keep that in mind this morning. Mobile traffic tracker again, a lot of yellow denoting that uh, drive speeds are limited, but we're not noticing any crashes. And there's a live look at the remainder of Kentucky. And uh, I'm going to send it back to you guys for now. All right, uh, Sam, thanks so very much. We want to continue moving our cameras around now. We want to get you to Jim Stratman, who's with the Metro Public Works team. Yeah, Jim, we know they've been working hard, not just this morning, but all uh, over the last few days here since the last kind of snow event that we saw. Public Works team and you saw all those trucks loading salt onto the salt truck so they can get out on the road. Yeah. Uh, what Jim has been reporting is the snow uh, team has sufficiently really done the job over the course of the last couple of days and most notably overnight to yeah. make sure those roadways are clear uh, because the majority of them are. We've been seeing from the beasts obviously that the interstates are looking passable, but we're going to yeah. do some work to get on some of those side roads too. Of course, yeah, and we have been noticing too, like you mentioned, that the map, the snow map mm -hmm. showing what roads have been treated, it's been getting progressively more and more green. So we want to let you know, though, even though that is the case, if you do have to head out today, there's a possibility of slick roads. We will alert you to any traffic issues as we do get them in the WHAS 11 News app. That's where we've been posting updates on school closings, which are scrolling to the bottom of your screen, too, particularly to note JCPS going to be on NTI today and Jefferson County Catholic schools are closed today. Um, and we'll work to get Jim back as soon as we can. But yeah. in the meantime, we'll tell you, uh, we know a lot of you just hate driving in the snow, but we do love seeing it. It can be a fun time. So make sure you snap a photo of you enjoying the snowfall or if you're being creative on how you avoid it, uh, <laughs> snap a picture of that too. You might see them right here on GMK as we move through the day. We'll tell you we'll also be on the air at 9 o'clock this morning, so do be aware of that. We're going to stay with you here. Uh, the number on your screen, 502-582-7290, that's the number to text us your photos. All right, it is 6.07, and right now there is a frenzy to find bottled water in Bardstown, not necessarily because of the snow, but because of the ongoing water shortage emergency. A delivery driver shopping at the local Kroger described the scene as chaotic and slightly panicked, with shoppers leaving shelves bare in the water section. The city's water shortage was caused by the recent polar blast. A pipeline in the basement of the city's water treatment plant burst on Wednesday. It is now back up and running, though it's still down a pump and trying to catch up and get enough water out. The tanks were just so low, not only throughout the city, but uh, even at the at the plant itself. It's just going to take a bit to, to get those filled back up. Customers to be conservative with their water use. They do want to note that the water is still safe to drink. For some tips on how you can conserve water, just head on over to whas11.com and click on the GMK tab.